Welcome to ASFOB Tutoring. In this video, we will go over 15 questions of mechanical comprehension for the SIFT test. To practice more, download the SIFT tutoring from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Question 1. The gear system derives the greatest amount of mechanical advantage if a 10-tooth gear drives a a 8-tooth gear, b 10-tooth gear, c 20-tooth gear, d 30-tooth gear. The answer is d. The greater the difference between the number of teeth of the two meshed gears, the greater the torque or mechanical advantage. So, a gear system derives the greatest amount of mechanical advantage if a 10-tooth gear drives a 30-tooth gear. Question 2. If two or more forces act on an object in such a way that the object does not move, what is this condition called? A. Equilibrium. B. Balanced forces. C. Actions and reactions. D. Similar forces. The answer is A. When two or more forces act on an object and the object does not move, it is in a state of equilibrium. This occurs when the forces are balanced, meaning that the net force acting on the object is zero. In equilibrium, all the forces cancel each other out, resulting in no acceleration or change in the object's motion. Question 3. What physical forces are the descending airborne paratrooper primarily affected by? A. Gravity and temperature. B. Gravity and upthrust. C. Upthrust and drag. D. Drag and gravity. The answer is D. A descending airborne paratrooper is primarily affected by two forces, gravity, which pulls the paratrooper downward toward the earth, and drag, which is the air resistance opposing this downward motion. The parachute increases drag significantly, slowing the descent and allowing for a safe landing. Upthrust and temperature do not play significant roles in this scenario. Question 4. The names of the process of transferring heat from one location to another are radiation, convection, and A. Condensation B. Boiling C. Conduction D. Evaporation The answer is C. Heat can be transferred through three primary processes, radiation, convection, and conduction. Conduction is the transfer of heat through direct contact between molecules within a material. It occurs when heat energy is transferred from a hotter part of a substance to a cooler part without the movement of the substance itself. Conduction is common in solids, especially metals. Question 5. When salt is dissolved in water, it a. decreases the boiling point. b. increases the boiling point. C. Increases melting point. D. Decreases the specific gravity. The answer is B. When salt is dissolved in water, it increases the boiling point of the solution. This phenomenon is known as boiling point elevation. The dissolved salt ions disrupt the water molecules, making it more difficult for them to escape into the vapor phase. As a result, a higher temperature is required to reach the boiling point. This effect is commonly observed in cooking, where adding salt to water raises its boiling temperature. Question 6. What is the process called when liquid is changed to vapor? A. Condensation. B. Distillation. C. Evaporation. D. Freezing. The answer is C. Evaporation is the process by which a liquid is transformed into a vapor. This occurs when molecules at the surface of the liquid gain enough energy to break free from the liquid's surface and enter the gas phase. Evaporation is a natural process that happens at temperatures below the boiling point and is responsible for phenomena like drying wet surfaces and the water cycle in nature. Question 7. When water confined in a closed container is heated without letting the steam escape, the pressure inside the container increases. What happens to the temperature of the water while it is boiling? A. The temperature of the water increases. B. The temperature of the water decreases. C. The temperature of the water remains constant. D. The temperature of the water may increase or decrease. The answer is C. When water boils, its temperature remains constant despite continued heating, 
as the added energy is used to convert the liquid into steam, not to raise the temperature. However, in a closed container where steam cannot escape, pressure increases as more water turns to steam, which can raise the boiling point, but the temperature remains constant during the phase change itself. Question 8. When air is compressed in a closed space. A. The volume of the air increases as the temperature decreases. B. The volume and temperature of the air decreases. C. The volume and temperature of the air increases. D. The volume of the air decreases, the temperature increases. The answer is D. When air is compressed in a closed space, its volume decreases because the air molecules are forced closer together. This compression increases the pressure and also increases the temperature of the air, as the kinetic energy of the molecules rises with the reduced space, leading to a rise in temperature. This principle is a key concept in thermodynamics and is described by the ideal gas law. Question 9. Which of the following is the electrical component that produces a voltage difference across it? A. Diode. B. Inductor. C. Resistor. D. Capacitor. The answer is C. A resistor is an electrical component that creates a voltage difference across its terminals when current flows through it. The resistor opposes the flow of current, and according to Ohm's law V equals IR the voltage across the resistor is proportional to the current passing through it and the resistance value. This voltage drop is essential in controlling the current and voltage in electrical circuits. Question 10. When opposite poles of two magnets are made to face each other. A. The facing poles of magnets will push apart from each other. B. The magnets will pull together. C. No effect will be shown. D. The magnets induce electric current on each other. The answer is B. When opposite poles, north and south, of two magnets are brought close to each other, they attract each other, causing the magnets to pull together. This is due to the magnetic field lines flowing from the north pole of one magnet to the south pole of the other, creating an attractive force between them. This attraction is a fundamental property of magnets. Question 11. The difference between weight and mass is that a. Weight depends on altitude, but the mass is relative to gravity. b. Weight remains constant, but mass depends on altitude. c. Mass remains constant, but weight depends on gravity. d. Mass and weight are the same quantity. The answer is c. Mass is the measure of the amount of matter in an object and remains constant regardless of location. Weight, however, is the force exerted by gravity on that mass and varies with the strength of the gravitational field. Therefore, an object's weight changes with changes in gravity, for example, on different planets, while its mass stays the same. Question 12. If the water in a stream is flowing through narrow and wide sections, which one will be true? A. Water is flowing faster through the wide section. B. Water is flowing faster through the narrow section. C. The speed of water is the same in both sections. D. The speed of water is not dependent on the cross-section of the path. The answer is B. According to the principle of continuity in fluid dynamics, the flow rate, or discharge, of a fluid must remain constant throughout a pipe or stream. Therefore, if the cross-sectional area of the stream narrows, the speed of the water must increase to maintain the same flow rate. Conversely, in wider sections, the water flows more slowly. This principle ensures that the volume of water passing through any section per unit time remains consistent. Question 13. What is true about static electricity? A. Static electricity is alternating current. B. Static electricity is direct current. C. Static electricity is neither direct current nor alternating current. D. Static electricity can be rectified. The answer is C. Static electricity refers to the buildup of electric charge on the surface of objects, which remain stationary until discharged. It is not a form of current electricity like DC or AC. DC, direct current, and AC, alternating current, involve the flow of electric charge through a conductor, whereas static electricity involves static charges. 
Static electricity can be discharged suddenly, but it does not involve a continuous flow of current. Question 14. Which color absorbs the most radiation? A. Dark blue. B. Red. C. Green. D. Black. The answer is D. Black absorbs the most radiation because it does not reflect light. Instead, it absorbs nearly all the wavelengths of light and radiation that strike it. This absorption converts the radiation into heat, making black objects warmer when exposed to sunlight or other sources of radiation. In contrast, lighter colors and reflective surfaces absorb less radiation and reflect more light. Question 15. A pure solid substance melts at 51 degrees Celsius. If the substance is known to change phase at 171 degrees Celsius, what is the state of the substance at 172 degrees Celsius? A. Solid. B. Gas. C. Liquid. D. Plasma. The answer is B. A substance that melts at 51 degrees Celsius and changes phase, presumably boiling or subliming, at 171 degrees Celsius will be in a solid state below 51 degrees Celsius, a liquid between 51 degrees Celsius and 171 degrees Celsius, and in a gas state above 171 degrees Celsius. Therefore, at 172 degrees Celsius, the substance is in the gas phase. To practice more, download the SIFT tutoring from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store.